Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about Synchronous Condenser. So tell me what is Synchronous Condenser? Synchronous Condenser nothing but an over excited Synchronous Motor at no load this is a synchronous condenser nothing but a no load over excited synchronous motor is called synchronous condenser that's it are you okay getting or not this is a synchronous motor which operating at no load condition and over excited condition a no load over excited Synchronous motor is called synchronous condenser. So generally, what is the another name of synchronous condenser? This synchronous condenser is also called phase advancer. And this synchronous condenser is also called power factor improved device. Power factor improvement device. This is also called power factor improvement device. So simply, why we are using my synchronous condenser? Synchronous condensers are used to, to improve the power factor in power system and in industries generally in industries and in power systems we are using the synchronous condenser in order to improve the power factor this is simply the synchronous condenser okay so let's see how the synchronous condenser will improve the power factor okay so let's see here actually this is an over excited synchronous motor at no load condition. For example, my power system or my induction motor. This is my induction motor which operating in an industry. This is the active power of my induction motor. And this is the reactive power of my induction motor. KV rating of my induction motor, power factor angle of my induction motor. Then what is the power factor? Power factor of my induction motor is equals to cos of phi i. This value may be 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.9 lagging. I want to improve my power factor from 0.7 to unity from 0.6 to unity or from 0.6 to 0.9 for that condition we can use this synchronous condensers are you okay so tell me how we can improve by using synchronous condenser if and synchronous condenser added to this induction machine how it will be see here this is the synchronous condenser reactance KVAR of synchronous condenser. This is the induction motor parameters. And this is the synchronous condenser parameters. Sir, you are putting just a single line. What about KW? KW. Where is my KW? My KW of synchronous condenser is equals to 0, sir. Why 0, sir? At no load. No load condition. As well as if KW is 0, where is the angle? So, what is the power factor angle of my synchronous condenser? Is the 90 degrees because perfectly reactive. We have only reactive. So, what is the power factor of my synchronous condenser actually? Actually, this is zero power factor leading I am taking here. This is a perfectly synchronous condenser. 
So here, actually, this is my induction motor, but I added this uh, synchronous condenser. Now, what is the result value? So let's see. Here, the resultant is like this. Resultant of these two is like this. This is the combined KW of these two. This is the combined KVAR of these two. And this is the combined KVA of these two. Sir, what is the KVA of synchronous condenser? KVA of synchronous condenser is equal to KVAR of synchronous condenser because the KW value is 0. We know S is equal to square root of KW square plus KVR square. Then what is S? S is equal to Q. We know that. Right. So, sir, what is combined KW? Combined KW is nothing but KW of induction motor plus KW of synchronous condenser. Of course, the KW of synchronous condenser is zero. Okay. And what is combined KVR? Combined KVR, see here, this is uh, leading nothing but in reverse reactive power. This is reverse reactive. Both the reactive powers are in reverse manner. This is, for example, lagging and this is a leading. Then tell me, what is the combined? Both are in opposite to each other. When both are opposite to each other, then the KVR rating is the KVAR of induction motor minus KVAR of synchronous condenser. This is the combined. Sir, for example, if the KVAR of induction motor is 1000 KVAR, if this is 500, then what is the combined? 1000 minus 500. Sir, for example, if this is also 1000, then what is combined? If both are same, the combined is 0. Ultimately, you will get unity power factor. Yes or no? Because the reactive power completely nullified. So, they will ask you a question. In my induction motor, I have a KVR rating of 1400. 1400 KVR. To get the unity power factor, what is the rating of synchronous condenser? We have to add to the induction motor. Ultimately, 1400. If you added that 1400 of KVR rating synchronous condenser, then the reactive power component is 0 and the power factor is unity. Understood? Like this, we can improve the power factor. And whatever, see. And here, this is combined KVR. Sir, what is combined KVC? I mean KVA. Don't write that. The combination of these two. KV of induction motor plus KV of synchronous motor. If you do like that, you will get a Nobel Prize. Don't do like that. This is KVA. So the combined KVA is equal to the combined KW square plus the combined KVR square. This is generally. Sir, what is the power factor angle of combined? This is the power factor angle of combined. Or what is the combined power factor cos phi c? Cos phi c is equals to. What is cos phi c from this? Cos nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse. This is KW upon KVA. Then you will get the power factor. Now can you observe these two? Between these two, in generally, the induction motor power factor angle is greater than combined S or no. Nothing but the power factor of induction motor is less than combined power factor. Nothing but the power factor is improved here. Here my power factor is improved because some reactive power is subtracted like this. 
Like this, you have to find every point from this. It is very easy. If they are given in your exam, you can find easily. Just you must require a calculator. So, virtual calculator practice is important for you. Okay, I said you already. Right. So, this is when I am synchronous condenser added. But in sometimes they may give you a question like that. I am going to improve my power factor of my induction motor by adding the synchronous motor. For example, synchronous motor is added. Let's see the second model of questioning. How they will ask you that model. So let's see here synchronous condenser, but now I'm going to add synchronous motor. This is important. Let's see here. Let's see here. So for example, take this is the induction motor. Induction motor which operating in the industry. This is the KW of my induction motor, KVAR of my induction motor, KVA of my induction motor, and the power factor angle of my induction motor. I want to increase my power factor. So for that, I am going to add a synchronous motor. This is my synchronous motor see this is what the kvar of synchronous motor they will give you only this one or they may give you the power factor angle also this is power factor angle of synchronous motor then remaining thing you have to find sir how we can find if the angle given and reactive power given so we want the, for example, KW, how we can find out this KW? Opposite and adjacent, nothing but tan. So tan of phi is equals to opposite upon adjacent. What is adjacent? KW of synchronous motor. So what we want? KW of synchronous motor is equals to KVAR of synchronous motor upon tan phi. Like this, you have to find KW. If you have KW and KVAR, then you can find KV of my synchronous motor. Like this, you have to calculate all those values. They will give you only one value. So like that, the synchronous motor is added here. Now, what is the combined value? Let's see. Let's draw the combined value here. So, the combined values are like this. Again, for example, this is the combined KW. And this is the combined KVA. And this is the combined KVA. And this is the combined KVA of power factor angle. Sir, what is combined KW here? Again, same. The KW of induction motor plus KW of synchronous motor. Sir, what is combined KVR? Combined KVR is nothing but induction motor KVAR minus KVAR of synchronous motor. That's very simple. And what is combined KVA, sir? Combined KVA is equals to combined KW plus combined KVAR. Sir, what is the power factor? If the power factor, if you want to find, then the combined power factor is equals to cos pi, cos nothing but, cos nothing but, very good, adjacent by hypotenuse. Sometimes they only give you the reactive powers of 2 and any power factor angle. Then we have to find the another values. How? If we have only the reactive power, then we have to find the active power. Generally, we know the power triangle. This is P, 
this is Q, this is S, and this is the power factor angle, for example. From this, from this, cos pi is equals to adjacent by hypotenuse. You can find those values. And tan phi, tan phi is equals to opposite by adjacent. From these two equations, you can find all the values. These two are very, 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 very important to solving these problems. When you're going to solve these problems, these two are important. Are you okay? Fitting or not? This is simply the synchronous condenser how we can improve the power factor okay let's do a single problem on this right okay 